Bonjour tout le monde! Hello everybody! Salut! Hi! Bienvenue! Welcome to French with Mr. Innes. Ça va? Are you? Ça va bien? Comme si, comme ça, ça va mal. Mm. Moi, ça va bien. It is a beautiful day. Il y a du soleil. Il fait beau. Et moi, ça va bien. It is jour number... Can you do some squats while counting with me? Allons-y. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit, dix-neuf, vingt, vingt et un, by the end of today's video, you are going to be able to say where you live in French and also sank five different French cities. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And thank you to all those people who have subscribed. Make sure you hit that button down there if you haven't already done so. So we're going to kickstart with our phrase of the day. My legs are on fire! Now, today's phrase of the day means I live in... And then we'll think about where you live. Écoutez, j'habite à... J'habite à... J'habite à... Répétez, j'habite à... J'habite à... J'habite à... Très bien. So now you know how to say I live in. If you add your city at the end of that sentence, you'll be able to say where you live. Moi, I live in Glasgow. What, Mr. Innes? No, wrong picture. No, change that. Oh yeah, yeah, I can't get the staff these days. There we go. I live in Glasgow. God, seriously. So I would say j'habite à Glasgow. Now, it's great if you can put a little French accent on the city where you live. So instead of saying Glasgow, I would say Glasgow. Maybe you live in Glasgow as well. Maybe you live in Manchester. See the French accent. Maybe it's Newcastle or Aberdeen or somewhere like that. Moi, j'habite à Glasgow. Et toi, où habites tu Très bien. Now, there are two cities in the United Kingdom where the French actually use a slightly different word from the word you use in English. So, for instance, here's me in Edinburgh. But in French, Edinburgh is Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Here's me in London, taking in a show. But in French, London is Londres. Londres. So you could say, j'habite à Edinburgh, or j'habite à Londres. But let's move on now to our ooh la la vocab. Ooh la la, these shorts are stinky. Ooh la la vocab numéro un is the French city of Paris. Paris is in the nord, the north of France. It is also the capital of France. And in French, Paris is... Écoutez six fois. Paris. 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 Répétez. Paris. 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 So let's move from the nord of France to the est, the east of France, and the city of. Écoutez six fois. Lyon. 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 Répétez. Lyon. 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 Ah, ça va, 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 va,
Now you might be familiar with this picture from the end credits. You might also be familiar with this city we're about to discuss from the episode on the French colours. Let's go down to the sud of France, the south of France, to the city on the Côte d'Azur, the turquoise coast. Écoutez, Nice, 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 Nice. Répétez, Nice. 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 Now let's move on to Oulala vocab numéro 4. This city is in l'ouest, the west of France. It's very famous for its vineyards. Shh, don't tell your mother. And it is called. Écoutez. Bordeaux, 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 Bordeaux. Répétez, Bordeaux, 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 Bordeaux. When your mums hear the word Bordeaux, they'll go Bordeaux. And last up, we have a smaller town in l'Est de France, which is very famous for being at the foot of some of France's biggest mountains in the Alps. Ah, oh, Mr. Innes, that's such a nice polo shirt that you're wearing. Oh, oh, thank you. I wonder if you can spot the tallest mountain in France, Le Mont Blanc. Écoutez, Chamonix, Chamonix. Chamonix, 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 Chamonix. Répétez, Chamonix, 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 Chamonix. Ah, magnifique. Let's move on now to which one's missing. As you know, I'm going to talk you through quatre images and we'll do six, six rounds. I'll help you with the first trois and then you are on your own. Allons-y. We've got in this first set of pictures Paris, Lyon, Nice and Bordeaux. Which one's missing? Très bien, if you said Nice. Next one. We've got Paris, Lyon, Chamonix and Bordeaux. Which one's missing? Très bien if you said Lyon. Next one. We've got Paris, Nice, Chamonix and Bordeaux. Which one's missing? Très bien if you said Paris. Next one. And you are on your own. Which one's missing? Bravo if you said Chamonix. Next one. Which one's missing? Fantastic if you said Bordeaux. And the last one. Which one's missing? And bravo, fantastic and très bien if you said Paris. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mon shampoing rose, my pink shampoo from Paris, has arrived! Yay! So let's move on to our sensational sentences. Sensational sentences, sensational sentences, sensational sentences, sensational sentences. Now, how do you say I live in 
Glasgow or Newcastle or London or wherever you live. Très bien. J'habite à Glasgow. Well, let's pretend that we live in one of these French cities. I'm going to ask you, où habites tu? Where do you live? And I'd like you to respond with, j'habite à whichever city it is. Okay, let's go. Pretend you lived in Paris. Où habites tu? Répétez, j'habite à Paris. J'habite à Paris. Très bien. Let's say that you lived in Lyon. Où habites tu? Répétez, j'habite à Lyon. J'habite à Lyon. Très bien. Have a go by yourself. Say you lived in Nice. Où habites tu? Bravo if you said j'habite à Nice. Let's say you lived in Bordeaux. Où habites tu? Fantastic if you said j'habite à Bordeaux. And the last one, what if you lived in Chamonix? Où habites tu? J'habite à Chamonix. Très bien. Now let's move on to our fun French fact of the day. Now, as you might know, Paris is the city of love. Ooh la la. And there's a bridge in Paris where couples used to go and they would get a padlock and they would lock it to the bridge to remember that they were there on a romantic holiday. But nearly one million couples locked their padlock onto this bridge so that the whole bridge nearly collapsed. Together, these locks weighed about 45 tons. And so the French government decided to take down all of the locks. So let's move on to our song of the day. Now, last weekend, it was supposed to be Eurovision. All I know, all I know, loving you is a losing game. But Eurovision got cancelled. <laughs> so today, we're going to look at the 2017, the 2017 French entry for Eurovision. And I've chosen this as well because it has some beautiful images of Paris, as well as some pretty dangerous dancing on a rooftop. It is called Requiem and it is by Alma. And you can find a link to the video in the YouTube description below. Sadly, that is everything for French with Mr. Innes today. On jour number 22. Très bien. It has been so nice to see you. I am very much. Ça va très bien. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. In the meantime, please stay tuned for the blooper reel at the end of this video. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. And for now, à bientôt. And au revoir. Welcome, bienvenue to my pink shampoo from Paris has arrived! Yay! <laughs> to... Is that East? Video? No. Ah. Oh, James, I keep forgetting things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't do sensational sentences. There is a bridge where Pete... No, no, no. Uh, padlocked their lock. Ah. Uh, Sir. No, not sense. It's on the way. Oh! Oh!